So when you get to the end of the Cyberpunk 2077 Phantom Liberty DLC, you will have choices to make. And these choices will determine the new loot you can obtain. Today guys, I'll bring you the complete guide on both paths you can take, what loot you can get from both, as well as details of exactly what you need to do to get said loot. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like it really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so spoiler warnings ahead, we cover uh, today the final missions of this DLC. So today guys, I will cover 9 Iconics you can get from the final missions of this game. With 2 being amazing pieces of cyberware, uh, today I will explain all. So the Iconics we will cover today guys, we have the Paria, the Murphy's Law, the Quantum Tuna, the Wild Dog, the Bald Eagle, the Fang, the Crowbar, the Mancinella, the Erebus and the Corrupted Militech Canto Mark VI Cyberware. So let's go. So all of this starts on one of the game's final missions called the Fire Starter. This is where you need to choose what you want. Right here guys, within this mission you can choose to side with Sunbird or choose to side with Reed. If I were you, I'd make a manual save before this point just in case in the future if you want to come back and experience the other endings. Okay, so if you choose Songbird, you get the Peria, you get the Murphy's Law, the Quantum Tuna and the Mancinella. If you choose Reed, you can get the Wild Dog, the Bald Eagle, the Fang, the Crowbar, the Mancinella, the Erebus and the Corrupted Militech Canto Mark VI Cyberware. So yes, but it is a very important to note guys. If you decide to go with Reed, to get the Erebus you need a technical ability level of 20. To get the Corrupted Cyberware, the Canto Mark VI, you need a 15 levels in intelligence. And you can only pick one of these items as well people. Also earlier on in the mission to get these items, you can also get the Crowbar Iconic. This requires 20 stats in that body attribute. So yes guys, and I think for all these Iconics, I don't think there's a way around it, so keep it in mind. Okay, so we will firstly start with Reed. So if you want Reed's Iconics, you need to pick the bomb option of Help Reed Capture Songbird. This is you going with Reed. So from this point guys, as you progress this Firestarter mission, you will eventually come face to face with Henson. Now if you take him out, you get all three of his iconic weapons. These are the Wild Dog, the Bald Eagle and the Fang. Three great weapons. But let's not lie to ourselves here. You chose his path for the Erebus and the Corrupted Cyberware. And I don't blame you. But yes, killing Hansen here, loot his body and grab these three iconics. From here guys, your next story mission will be called Black Steel in the Hour of Chaos. Here there is an optional choice which is the one I made which is calling Mr. Hands. During this conversation pay Mr. Hands 15k eddies to use his netrunner. I don't know if this is a must but it makes kind of sense for the items we acquire later on as from this point you will travel to Kabuki and meet with uh, this netrunner. Her name is Yoko. She herself will have a proposition for you. If you accept it guys it just gives you eddies in the long run. Okay, so pushing on and continuing on with the mission sees you and Reed setting up for a convoy, but it doesn't go to plan. And well, after this point guys, the mission of Black Steel in the Hours of Chaos is shortly over. Now the next mission of Somewhat Damage is the one that gives you the crowbar, it gives you the Erebus blueprint and it also gives you that Cantor Mark 6 blueprint. Okay, so during the very start of the Somewhat Damage mission guys, you will come to this point right here. This is where you can grab that crowbar iconic. Again guys, you need a level 20 in that body attribute to get this. But hey, just go as I go, go to this gate. If you have the 20 in that body attribute, force this gate open and grab this iconic while you are here. So from this point guys, just progress this mission until your next objective is to find the data terminals of Sierra and Victor. But be careful as you've probably realised by this point, if that robot captures you, it's instant death. So a lot of stealth will be required within this section of the mission guys. 
so on now people you'll be able to grab the Erebus iconic weapon blueprint. This requires again a technical ability level of a 20. So from this point with one of the main hallways where you can see those certain rooms, you need to come to the engineering room. Then guys will see right in front of you, the maintenance room. This is a room which beholds this Erebus blueprint. But it will be locked behind a technical ability of a level 20. If you have this, follow this quick path to the storage room where I go guys to fix the power box to open this door. Be careful when you do this, normally the robot comes up right near you, so hide if that happens. From this point guys, go back to that maintenance room, open it up and grab that blueprint. From this point guys we will progress on to grab the Militech Cantor Mark 6 Cyberware. So as you progress this mission guys you will eventually be required to find the Neural Network Room. When you see Reed and Songbird on that couch with the labs room right in front of you, you are on the right path. From this point guys follow the path I take to the room to grab this Cyberware Blueprint. Again a level 15 in that intelligence is required for this. So once you have it guys, there's one last thing you must pick up and it's right near the end. So after you see and learn about Songbird's past, when you kind of like pass out, after that robot grabs hold of you, you will then wake up where you passed out and the robot will be disabled. Here, grab the behavioral system component from the robot. This is required to craft one of the two blueprints you just grabbed. Once you have this guys, you can finish this mission however you want. So once the credits have run, you'll wake up in your apartment. Now here, depending on your choices, you could wake up and have a little back and forth with Johnny, but it doesn't really matter. After whatever you wake up to, if you skip time, you should receive a message from an unknown user. This will start the mission of the Corrosion. So this mission sees you going back to that Ripper Dock Yoku in Kabuki. Here guys, you give her that behavioral system component, which after you wait, she hands you a shard. This shard is the core ingredient to the Erebus and the corrupted Militech Cantor Mark 6 cyberware. But here, you can only craft one, so make the right choice. Or save the game, so you can play with both, and then make the choice. Okay, so now we reverse all the way back to that Firestar mission. So if you choose the option of siding with Songbird, so here you would select help songbird escape, here you do exactly this. Now soon after you click this guys, Alex up above you takes out Hansen. Now I have seen people state for some, you can go back up to that room and grab Hansen's iconics. For me, I tried absolutely everything, I couldn't get back up there. So from this point guys, as you progress on, soon after you can hack the helicopter or activate the bots, you will soon come across Murphy. If Murphy is killed, he drops the Murphy's Law Iconic. So do what you gotta do guys, and don't miss this Iconic. So from here guys, you can just finish this mission. Do what you gotta do. So as you then progress on guys, skipping a few days, you should have another mission pop up of Killing Moon. This is where Songbird will contact you. Now within this mission guys, you can get the Peria Iconic Weapon, this is Reed's Pistol, but in order to do this guys, you have to help Songbird up until the very, very end. So towards the end of this mission, you need to continue on helping Songbird get to that rocket and take off. This means guys, when the time is right, you have to kill Reed. This happens at the very end, 
just after you pick her up off the train to carry her to that rocket. Reed will make an appearance and here guys you have to kill him by drawing your gun and shooting. Now upon you doing this you then pick Songbird back up off the floor then place her within that rocket, tie her in, check her diagnostics then when you head back out you can pick up Reed's weapon off the floor right in front of him. From this point guys you and Johnny watch her take off then the credits roll. Okay so upon you siding with Songbird and sending her off into space you now in game want to skip time by a few days. Eventually you will get a text message from an unknown number. This will trigger a short quest called From Her to Eternity. Songbird has left you one last parting gift. Here guys you go back to that spot which reminded her of home. Here when you scan next to this sofa you will see the iconic cyberware the quantum tuner which in my opinion is pretty amazing very very useful indeed okay so lastly no matter whose side you chose when all is said and done you should get a call from mr hands now on my one playthrough i hadn't done all of his gigs and of that i had either or i had this mission pop up I have seen somebody state that you need to do this mission right after the fire starter mission before you do the very last mission that is completely false this mission will pop up after those credits have rolled as it did for me so here mr hands gives you another mission he will call you the mission is called run this town from here guys he asks you to meet him at the heavy hearts club when you get here guys you go through a bit of dialogue and he gives you the iconic pistol the mansonella and there we have it guys, the ultimate guide and the end game iconics you can obtain. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.